Well, a South Bend teacher returned to school today with a different title, Teacher of the Year. News Center 16's Travis Robinson tells us how Mr. Ben Demonkis is handling all the new fame. Travis? Yeah, Terry, he walked into school and got cake for breakfast, so I really don't know how you can beat that. Mr. Demonkis says he's grateful for the award, but moving forward, it's just business as usual. After receiving the prized golden apple for becoming teacher of the year, Demonkis wouldn't stop hearing about it. I had just had blown up, you know, like, 60 text messages, like uh, notifications on social media, Facebook and, uh, and Twitter. It was like I probably had 120 plus on just Facebook alone. After telling his class to tune into New Center 16 last night, Yee-haw! he had quite a few fans coming into the classroom today. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. You know, I had them all congratulating me and uh, and then the, coming in this morning, they're they're fired up. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank Congratulations. you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Me versus twenty first graders. I think that the twenty first graders would win. <laughs> and I had some balloons brought in and candy. They they're they're bringing out all the bells and whistles. But then it was back to the class that got Mr. Demonkis his recognition. Oh, she's gonna teach us. That's awesome. He says a big part of his portfolio in his classes is centered around new technology and using kids' entire bodies to learn. So what's the difference between this and a video game? <laughs> you have to do some problems with it? The teacher is the one that makes the difference. So even though technology is becoming a bigger fad or wave, whatever, um, at the end of the day, it's equipping the teachers with the, the po- knowledge and power to be able to use technology um, to be the best teacher that they can be. Technically, the teaching methods in his portfolio won him the award, but Demonka says it was really the wonderful kids he works with every day. Really a team win. You know, I can't teach without kids, and uh, I've actually had this group of students for two years now, so the same group has really developed a good relationship, a sense of community, and uh, we're, we're all just thrilled. So. And just before the end of the day, the class celebrated a bit more with a pizza party. All right, and something you may not have known about uh, Demoncus, he's a heck of a football coach. In 2016, his St. Matthew Blazers won the Catholic grade school championship, so he's a multi-talented guy. Wow, yeah, yeah, the more you know.